Okay, this is a review for the Air Pura C600 C Light Cat DLX. Um, it has 26 pounds of activated carbon and the whole unit weighs about 52 pounds. Um, I got it about 28 days ago when I was out of town. I had friends set it up. I had moved into new construction and I thought perhaps some of the symptoms I was having, which were allergies and some um, red eyes and things like that were due to the new construction that I moved into. Um, so to keep it, briefly this did absolutely nothing, but it gets worse than that because this company does not stand behind their products at all, unlike IQ Air. IQ Air, when I had an issue with um, allergies, but IQ Air did not help. IQ Air completely refunded everything, no questions asked, in 30 days. Air Pura, which is $900, the unit you're looking at, told me, and they claim that they didn't, they told me that they would um, refund the unit without shipping fees or restocking fees. When I bought it, because I bought two, because of the way this place is laid out, I needed two. And then now they're claiming they never said that and that I'm making that up. And even though last week I called and talked to somebody who said, sure, we'll do it that way, then again, I called today and talked to some guy with a French accent, I don't know. And he said, um, no, absolutely not. You have to send it back yourself, which costs $70 shipping. And they're gonna take $225 off of the price of this. Okay, so basically I would be paying $300 for absolutely nothing except the inconvenience of dealing with this piece of shit. So let me tell you about how bad it is in multiple ways. First of all, let's, I don't know if the speakers will pick it up, but the noise it makes is like a cicada or cricket and it's like shrieking. And it's, it's an unpleasant noise. And this is only on medium. So what I want you to realize is how loud this is. So already, it's 60 decibels, and that's just medium. And there's a high pitch kind of noise, this phone might not pick it up, I'm just using an iPhone right now. But it's like a, kind of like a cricket chirping. And by the way, I emailed the person that sold it to me, I emailed her, her name's Stacy Singh, and I emailed her twice about the different issues I was having. One, it wasn't helping my symptoms. Two, it was making noises I didn't like. She ignored both emails. So again, this is what you're dealing with when you're dealing with AirPure. People that don't care about the fact that their product doesn't work or their product's making annoying noises. They just, she just really wanted to sell me two units and then didn't give a shit. And I'll show both emails I sent to her and obviously she didn't reply to either one of them. But yet her coworkers, of course, are standing by her version of events that says she, that she never claimed that I could return it without a restocking fee. Of course she did. She was trying to sell me two units. So that's, she said anything she needed to do. And then when I, you, you can see the type of person it is because when I followed up and said, I'm, it's not helping and it's noisy, I ignored it. So if I go to, mi oh, that's minimum. If I go to maximum, You can't really, you can't really talk like this. There's no way you can watch TV. And I can't even talk over that. I mean, it's, so you can never put it on maximum. Maximum sort of pointless. And now you can, I think if I go lower, you can hear that annoying, like, high buzzing kind of electrical cricket noise. It's very hard to explain, but it's annoying. Okay, so let's talk about medically what this did. Um, I was just at Rush, which is one of the most prestigious hospitals in Chicago, in terms of getting head and neck. So I was in the head and neck um, otolaryngology department, and you can see the visit date is two days ago. And this is the chairman of, Dr. Batra is the chairman of the um, faculty, or the chairman of the department there. So let's see, after having this in my apartment for 20, 
five to 30 days what, what it did. Let's see. Okay, so first, um, so I come in with nasal congestion and rhinorrhea. Okay, sh shocking, because this hasn't done anything. So obviously I've been sick this whole time. Air Pure couldn't care less. They just want to make sure I pay their fucking restocking fee. Um, so he does an endoscopy. So he sticks this tube, or this kind of, this thing in my nose and goes all the way up to my sinuses. Um, and he can see um, bilateral nasal, nasal endoscopy was performed. Endoscopy demonstrated congested inferior turbinates bilaterally. Those are the bones in the back of your nose area that are obviously swollen. Um, there's thick gray mucus draining below the eustachian tube and orifice from the middle meatus. I mean, so, and I also could see this on the endoscopy myself. So, I had severe enough symptoms to go all the way to Rush, which is an hour and a half. Of, it's, I mean, in traffic, it's very far. It's a huge pain to get there. It's an enormous hospital. And then also to make sure that I saw the chair of the ENT department, who then also prescribed me um, a nasal steroid. So, I mean, and now this is not any joke. This is what is going on in my life right now, okay? Now, the people at Air Pure couldn't give a shit. So just so you know, when you buy from them, they don't care. So this is what, so as a lestine, um, as a lestine again, I and mean, I have a few because I've been organizing this and I wasn't even planning to do the video. I just was, uh, um, this is ipratropium bromide nasal solution. I mean, so um, things are not going well or I would not have all this out. <laughs> and then this is a sample that I got from another allergist that I saw um, yesterday because it's obviously all still happening. And if you knew what my voice normally sounded like, it doesn't sound like this. Um, so that's your Pura, useless, makes annoying noises, employees won't answer their emails when you write to them asking for help. Um, then when you want to return it, they charge you $225, and then maybe more, because they reserve the right to inspect it in case it's not perfect. So they can obviously bullshit and say, oh, we're actually not gonna take, give you any money back. Who knows what they'll say. Plus, it costs $70 because it's 52 pounds and because of the size, it's $70 to ship it back. All of which I was told was going to be waived. None of it which is going to be. So, fuck your Pura and fuck you Stacey Singh and, and then who's the other guy? I'm going to find his name really quick. Just so I can make sure that I can say fuck you to him too. His name is... Cosmin Lugas.